Yay, turtles. I like turtles. Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer. We're playing three NES games today. We are playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Track and Field 2, and Baseball Stars. So our first game is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which came out in 1989. And the front of the box just has a panel from the comic book. Uh, that's why they all have red bandanas. I might be wrong on that. Uh, back of the box, fresh from the classic comics, comes Heroes in a Half Shell. Carnivorous robots chow down in Chinatown while brutal ninjutsu warriors, blood descendants of the Deadly Foot Clan, bust up bystanders from the Bronx to the to Broadway. Police SWAT teams can't stop them, but the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles can, because powered by slices of pizza, they're always ready to rumble with nunchucks. I'm sorry, nunchuckus. Katana blades and a party bus full of anti-Foot Clan missiles. So, team up with the Turtles, Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Donatello, and then switch on the tortoise radar. Following your map in Sixth Sense past Savage Traps and Secret Sewer Passages until you knock heads with the nasty ninjutsus and either splatter them scentless or get yourself turned into turtle soup. Also, look for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figure toys by Playmite. Okay, cool. Uh, so... So this game in Japan was released before the cartoon or any of the uh, comic books were brought over there, so it had a different title over there. It was called Legend of the Radical Ninja Turtles. Um, which later they just used Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And of course in Europe it was Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles because they're afraid of ninjas. Uh, also in the Japanese version, April O'Neil is not a uh, report or acquaintance. She is Splinter's daughter, which is a strange tale. Um, so let's get into this game. Uh, this is a game I played a lot as a kid. It was one of these games where probably not a good game but I still got to the end I could never beat this game I could get to shredder at the end and he had a one hit kill weapon and I can never get past that part and we're already dead that lasted long Leonardo got caught who fights next let's see if Donatello could not die I don't really remember where you're supposed to go, but you can go into these sewers and things. Oh man. Yeah, this game is slow. Yeah, I can't believe I had the patience as a child to like actually learn this game and play through it. That's what you did though. You bought a game, you were kind of stuck with it for a while. Yay, I beat the game. Yeah, I don't really remember which ones you're supposed to go into, but... And we're already dead. Donatello got caught. Who will fight next? Michelangelo will, because he's a sucker. Yay, turtles. I like turtles. Kill. Oh, look, a free guy or something. Or invincibility. I don't remember him being able to do this in the cartoon. But we went in the wrong tunnels. Now we have to go all the way back. This is stupid. Okay. Yeah, you don't have the patience for that game anymore. I assure you, I made it to Shredder when I was a kid. So graphics, um, graphics aren't bad, but they're uh, slow and choppy and it suffers from slowdown. I'm gonna give them a five. Sound, sound is decent, four and a half. Music, music is all right, five and a half. Story, uh, we'll give that a four and a half. Controls, uh, a three. Funness. Oh, a two and a half says, so hold my attention. Two and a half overall. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the NES is going to get a three and a half. It's not as good as I remember. All right. Nostalgia isn't everything. Let's move on to the next game. 
All right, our next game today is Track and Field Part 2, because the game needed a sequel. It was Track and Field, because there are just so many events they couldn't fit them all in one. Uh, the back of the... or the... 89. Yeah, things, words. And that's the front of the box. So we got our different events here. We got... Oh, I think that's shot put. Pole vaulting, hurdling. Uh, we got an archer who's trying to shoot down a uh, kite glider guy. We got a guy shooting a Devo hat with a gun. We got a guy trying to smell his own kneecaps. Um, and that just represents friendship there in the middle. We got a guy trying to kick off out of the side of the box because he wants to escape. We got a canoeist over here. Um, we got some fencers, I suppose. We got a swimmer. And we got a guy who's jumping or something. And we got a guy over here, Hunter S. Thompson, maybe trying to shoot the guy who's doing gym mist. He's just trying to do gym stuff. All right. Forget the gold. Go for the endorsement bucks. Well, that's the state of sports. The greatest athletes from around the world have gathered for the grandest sporting spectacle since the golden age of Greece. This pressure pack competition is as fierce and starved as a star of lying, surviving a matter of sweat and concentration in Taekwondo, pole vaulting, canoeing, skeet shooting, hammer throwing, high diving, archery, hurdles, gymnastics, hang gliding, pistol fist firing, uh, arm wrestling, fencing, triple jumping, and swimming. Phew, wears you out just to read them all. Yeah, it does. The odds in Vegas say you don't have enough strength, stamina, or skill, but you know better. As long as you win, you're the crowd favorite, but lose, and you might as well turn in your jock strip and joystick. Great. Fun. No fun facts. We'll just do training mode here. I'll try some different events. One player, uh, fencing. Yay! Look at that crowd of various people wearing green, white, and black shirts. Can I kick him? So everybody knows this is a very popular track and field event. Um, does not place take place on a track or a field. Uh, so I don't really know why it's in the game, but uh, that's a theme that I'm sure will continue. Well, that's a fun event. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay. Alright, triple jump I don't care about, freestyle swimming. Let's try... Yeah, why not? Let's do the high dive. And... Dive! Ooh, sevens! She teleports back to the top. That was worse? I hit the button more times. I'll right, we'll try one more event. Okay, what are we gonna try? Let's make it count. Let's do... Clay Pigeon Shooting. Right. Boy, this one's fun. Well, that's whatever that is for you. So, track and field two. Um, graphics are actually pretty good. Uh, give those an eight. Sound. Sound is okay. Yeah, we'll give it a five and a half. Music, just a three and a half. Storyline, there is none. Controls, every event controls a little bit differently. Probably about average overall. Uh, funness, if you have a friend and you're playing with it, it could be kind of fun, I suppose. Does it hold my attention? Not a lot. And overall, track and field is going to, rather, is going to get a, a four. That's track and field two. Let's move on to the last game. All right, last game today is Baseball Stars, which came out in 1989. And the box art here uh, just features, obviously, that's, um, what's his face? 
Maguire, I don't know who that's supposed to be. He's roided up, whoever it is. Um, the umpire back there is kind of like, ooh, what's going on? And baseball stars. Player, manager, owner, you can do it all in baseball stars. Make sure, uh, make your own teams and leagues. Hire, fire, trade players. Develop your players from inexperienced rookies into veteran pitchers and hitters. Play against a friend or challenge the computer. You'll never have to worry about being rained out again. The most comprehensive baseball simulation available for the Nintendo Entertainment System for Grand Slam grain, gray, uh, gameplay and plenty of options. Baseball Stars is the best from the U.S. National Video Game Team, whoever the crap that is. Um, so this is the first sports game, uh, first baseball game of all time to have a battery backup on the cartridge. It's also the first NES sports game of any kind to have a battery backup, which is cool. And let's play the game. It's Baseball Stars from SNK. There it is, Baseball Stars. Like I said, I didn't lie. Baseball Stars be a champ or a chump. Be a chump. Okay, let's do, let's do a versus play. This does have a pretty robust mode of like um, kind of franchise-y type of thing. We could be AD, NB, BW, Junior, WordPress, South Carolina, the LLs, or the GMs, who have a little ghost as their icon. Let's be them, and we're going to play against the, uh, the word perfects. Ghastly Monsters versus World Powers. Okay. Sure, that all looks good. Wilbur Orville Hulk. So oh, okay. So Zombie is that, uh... Up to bat here. Oh, zombies out. Okay. Mummy. He's got that donk donk. And I don't know why I swung at that. This is no MLB the show, but what do you expect? Oh, stay in, stay in, stay in, stay in. I have no idea how to. St okay, there we go. We got a double. Mummy got a double. This is Freddy. Get in the gap. Oh yeah, this is before the shift. Go home. Go home. Go home. Yes. We scored a thing. All right, Watson. Damien's up. Wait, okay. Like that. Like that. This is Jason. Obviously, I picked the right team where everybody's named after horror villains. Oh, I popped it up. Drop it. Why do you auto advance? I didn't do that. That sucked. All right. And he hit a home run off me right away. You let me down, baseball stars. Graphics, um, they're pretty solid. They're not as good as like bases loaded or anything. Four sound is average. Music is okay. It gets repetitive after a while. Story, it's baseball. Uh, controls, controls seem fine. Um, give them a six. Funness, uh, franchise mode from what I remember is pretty fun. Um, but there's better ways to get your baseball fix. Does it hold my attention? Oh, maybe about it. Two and a half, and overall Baseball Stars is going to get a four and a half. That was Baseball Stars for the NES. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next game.